YouTube, what it is, we are making a roster today with the new APFE, and I'm making my franchise for my Buffalo Bills, and I wanted to talk to you guys and show you exactly how I make a roster, so let's get to it. I'm going to make one player and show you exactly what I do. So the first thing I do is I go down to the depth chart, this is the way I do it, you can do it different ways. I like the depth chart because it shows me everything in one spot. I switch over to edit mode and this is being created as we speak so it's not perfect and there's been some changes in the Bills lineup as you guys know every week things change but Kelvin Benjamin his sorry ass we kicked them off okay so we're going to go ahead and edit him and switch him over basically make another player so what what I use I use a list of uh, a set of websites that I'm going to put in the description below that I want you guys, I recommend you guys follow and look at if you're new to roster making and um, and you want to learn at least one way to do it. I'm sure everybody has their own way. This is the way I do it. So I'll be sharing those links with you guys. First thing, if you go to Gridiron Uniforms, they have every single uniform in the history of the football, the NFL basically. So if you want to go back to the 90s and you want to look at the 1990 Buffalo Bills, you can do that. And they show you the exact template. So the first thing I do when I'm creating my teams is I create the jerseys, right? So going back to the editor, if you look at the, um, if you look at the team, you know, you got to you gotta go into the game and you have to create your uniform and your logo. And, you know, you can do that in a separate file and you can upload them into the editor by using this upload button here. So if I were to go to one that probably hasn't been uploaded, you can click upload. You can type in the name of the jersey that you want to upload and then you can set a picture to it if you want to. And I'm not going to hit no here. So now the Bison, their uniform code is loaded in the editor. I want to go back to Buffalo and I want to use the Bison uh, uniform Then it's in here. If they had a uniform, it would show up here, a preview. So my point is that you're going to want to use this website because this website is going to give you a, a nice little you know, look at what uniforms look like. I also go to Google and just Google the images, okay? But I've already basically done that for at least for the teams, okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to the editor and... I'm going to go ahead and edit Calvin Benjamin. Now, before I do that, I want to look to see what has changed on the roster. So I go to the Washington Post. I think it's pretty it's pretty recent, so there's probably there's probably many sites out there you can go to. This is where I go to. And I take a look at what players and if I go like side by side here, I can look at what players are on the field now. So we we picked up Deontay Thompson. Okay, so I'm probably going to take Deontay Thompson and throw him in here and then reorder the roster. Okay, so what I do is I click on Deontay Thompson here, and I'll probably put it to the side here so we can still see it. I'll bring over APF on this side. And from here, we're going to click on the player, and we're going to edit. Now, we just start typing in all their bio information. So down here is their bio information. You probably can't see it, but this is where I get their birthday, their height, I get all that stuff. So we're going to do it in real time right now. And I'm in offline mode, which is what you're going to be in if you're doing a season file. And I try to see if there's a name that matches, but if there's not, then I just go ahead and select none. And as far as the photo goes, if they're a legend player, right? And this guy's a bronze, so I'm going to have to make him a nun now. I don't think Deontay Thompson is going to be a star. So I'm going to make him a nun. Uh, not a nun, N-U-N, N-O-N-E, so no star. But the thing is like, you can put abilities and you can put attributes and all that stuff, but what you're going to want to do when you're creating your team is figure out what players are going to be your star players. You know, because you can only have, I think, 10 or 11 star players up to 10, between 10 to 11 for the game to still work. You can't go underneath 10 and you can't go above 11. I'm pretty sure that those are the numbers. And so you have to kind of think what players are going to get what stars. And I do that last though. So what I do is I go through and I create my players. And at the end, 
I put the stars that they fit. Okay. Um, because really the stars really don't mean that much. They just boost up the, the, uh, the player stats. All right. So we're going to make this guy, you can keep him as a, a legend for now. Um, his college, he went undrafted. So I'm going to put none for college and then none for star. And then for years pro, you got to put in, so this is like zero, one, two, three, four, five. So six, so he's in his sixth year. And then his birthday is February 14th, 1989, okay? So you go to 89, February 14th, okay? And then this is simple, right? You put his weight, you put his, you put his, uh, his height, and then that's it. I mean, you know he's a rece receiver. His number's 10, right? So you put this information in, no big deal. You can forget about the face because the face is, for me, is going to come from the photo. And the photos come from the legends that are on my team, right? So once I get my star players figured out, I get their faces set, and then I run a tool that sets all the players' faces on the generics to match these guys' faces based off their skin. But what I do now is I go back to... Um, I go back to the web and I look up, I copy their name and I look up their, their images because I want to see what these guys look like when they're playing. And I try to get an image that shows their whole entire body so I can kind of see, but I want to see their, you know, I want to see their face too. This is a good one here because you can see their face, you can see their helmet, you can see their, you know, their gear here. So what we're going to do is we're gonna push that over here. Well, let me see. Let me do it this way. Put that like right there. And then I'm gonna bring the editor over here and try to see if I can put them next to each other. So, so from here, I know he's pretty dark skinned dude. So I'm gonna make him, I don't know. I'm, I think I'm gonna make him darkest. And then he's pretty ripped for me. So I'm gonna say he's ripped. I don't think he's skinny, he's kind of normal body type and um and so he looks good there obviously injury he's healthy so i don't want to worry about that and then for the equipment i just go through and figure out what equipment they have and this one is i don't think that's it i think it's yeah it's this one because he only has one bar on top and these bars over here are all the way in the back so this is the one he's basically wearing they don't always match Right, you won't always get the right thing. And then in the new APF, if you have a dark skin guy, you'll get a dark skin set of images. If you have a light skin guy, you'll get a light skin. So it kind of adds a little bit more than just, you know, them always being dark or, or white and then or light and then you know you being stuck with no reference point. Um and then so eye black, I don't see any eye black on nasal strip, no, neck roll, no, leg pads. They actually look pretty thick, but um, I'm going to go light. And then he's got a full full glove. I kind of like that number one color for this guy. Um, he's pretty clean, though. Nothing on his body. His shoes. Um, before I get to his shoes, let's look at, let's just look at his, his wrists and stuff. I don't see anything there. And then going over to his shoes. Let's see if we can get a better pick with his shoes. Here's one. Let's see if we can. I mean, they just look pretty dark, you know? It looks like he has tape on his shoes. I wonder if he does that all the time. See, I like to go really, really, really specific. I like to actually look at video, too. I go on YouTube and I look at their, their highlights. He looks like he's wearing tape. So I'm going to put tape on his shoes, believe it or not. And I'm just going to pick one of these colors here that I think look good. Like I said, he looks like he's wearing some tape, so I'm going to go with it. And then uh, nothing on the wrists and nothing on the sleeves. So we're good with the bio. The next thing that I do is for the attributes, 
I try to go to the t- 2K, uh, NFL 2K5 rosters.com. And like I said, I'll put a link below. I go in here and I look at the, the stat chart and I reference it against this draftscout.com website. So if I go to Deontay uh, Thompson and I look at their stats, it says he went to Florida. So maybe I'll just switch this to Florida because if I have a if I have a college, I'm gonna give it to him. And then which I should have probably known that being a Bills fan, but you know, he's been in and out of our team. Um so from here I look at all the stats, right? And sometimes you don't get any stats. So you gotta kinda hunt down. But if I can't find them here, I'll go to the NFL Combine site and I'll grab their their uh their 40, which you did a four Four three one. Usually I'll grab what's on this side. This is pro day, but he's got nothing over here, so I'm gonna have to go with this side. So four three one and four three one he gives him a ninety-eight speed. The guy's fast. Whoops. The guy's fast, right? So ninety-eight speed, but he's been in the year for like the league for like six years. So I'm gonna give him like a ninety, you know, ninety-seven. I'll give him a, a a second off because he's a little bit older now. Okay. Next one we're going to look at is the the uh, the agility column. Okay, and that's this twenty yard shuffle. He did four four zero. So at four four zero, he's a seventy three. Okay. And let's keep going. So we also need to look at the strength, which is the two hundred twenty five pound bench press. He did twenty, which is not bad for a receiver. So I go down to strength and 20 gives him a 60 right here, 60 for strength. And then I look at the vertical jump, 36 and a half. So he's got decent hops. So that's a 78 for jump. And then I look at the last one. Well, that's pretty much it. This is more of the, the speed. I don't mess with this. Like arm strength, I think. Um, those are the core skills. Those are the, the, the running, the jumping, the agility, you know, the speed, agility, strength, and jumping, right? So now I have the core skills down. Now I go back, and this time I go to the Pro Football Reference website, okay? This is why if you're making a good roster, you need to do all this stuff. If you're just going to go through and hack your way through it, I don't want that roster. Don't give it to me. I want things that tell me exactly what the, how these guys play. So what I do from here is I look at their stats and especially their, their, their stats from, from this year, right? So it's hard though, because this year has been, been kind of up and down for him. He's had only a few receptions per game, you know, his pass strength. I, you can either make these zero or sometimes that's good to do, or you can just leave them. I'm going to leave them for the offensive. I'm sorry, the defensive things or the offensive, like quarterback stuff or kicking. I, I leave it. His stamina, you know, I try to give people stamina based on if they're rookies. I usually float right around this number. And on the right side here, you're going to see what these different tiers would give you. Um, you know, they're all the same for the, for the stamina, so no worries there. But if I look at his his stats here, um, and I can even go to the these stats here and look at them here as well. But you get a little bit more in the other one. This one looks a little bit cleaner. But he, he basically has, in 2018, 15 receptions. And that's not a lot for 10 games, you know. He's only had one for Buffalo. Let's see what it shows over here shows one for Buffalo and then the rest through here. So it's pretty, but his catch percentage is pretty good. So I'm probably going to give him a high catch rating and he's got an okay yards per target um, rating. I look through his stats basically, and I'm going to, and I'm going to just show you kind of what I do. It doesn't have to be perfect. So for stamina, you know, like I said, it's just a matter of, how I feel these guys can can be. I'll give them like an 81. 
and then durability you know how much is he is he does he get hurt you know and um i don't think he gets hurt that often i'd have to probably keep looking but normally durability i keep around where it's at unless there's somebody who gets hurt where he did strength and jumping their run route you know his run route is going to be important because that's going to mean you know how does this guy run and you can look here i try to look at this reference here it's pretty important for me because I don't think he's a gold, I don't think he's a silver. I think he's probably somewhere around a, you know, a bronze. So I like I like it at 77. Maybe I'll put it at like, maybe I'll leave it at 77. It's not a bad number to be at. Um, for run route, and then maybe 76. So I don't I don't know. He's not really that great, but um, he's like your average receiver in the league. So. You know, aggressiveness is more like how how aggressive is this guy? Is he a guy that goes down the middle? I think he's pretty damn aggressive. From what I've seen, he's a, he's been pretty aggressive in my in my tape. Um, but like I said, you can look at highlights for this stuff. You know, breaking tackles. Is he the kind of guy that breaks tackles? You know, and I look online. Like I just said, I go I go to the web. I go to YouTube. I try to see if I can get some highlights from this guy, and I know him decently because i watch the bills but if i look at if i look at his highlights here you know we can skip this ad let's say some highlights see he's okay with taking big hits that's why i say he's aggressive i've seen him take some big hits and he can he can hold on to the ball he's got good hands all right so i just watch all these different clips here i try to get an idea of how this guy these guys play and this guy's got good focus and good hands. I mean, look at that catch, right? So he's definitely someone that I would give give a good aggressiveness, which is what I did. He's making nice sideline catches, right? But this is what it takes to make a good roster. This is my point. If you're going to do a good roster, you got to go through every player, and you got to do this stuff to really know what you're talking about. I mean, look at that focus in the, in the snow. Beast. And he takes hits, right? So I think I got enough right there to know that this guy's this guy's pretty decent, right? Um his durability is solid, as aggressive. I might even bump that up to an 80, to be quite honest. He's pretty damn solid. And then breaking tackles. I mean, I didn't see him break too many tackles, so I'll probably put him at like a 53. Um catch, his catching is solid. I mean, if you look at his stats. Maybe that might give us more, more insight. But what I saw in those highlights were pretty solid. His catch percentage is like 100, 100, 100, 100. I mean, he's got a lot of high catches, so I'm going to give him a high catch rating. I'm going to give him like an 88 catch rating, okay? Run blocking, you know, I'd have to see some, some stats on, on run blocking. Um, let's see if we get any here. And this one. I don't see anything here. How about anything over here? I mean, he's done some returns, kick returns. So he's a kick returner too at times. But I can't see any blocking unless it's in here somewhere. I mean, it's tackles, but. I don't usually worry about it too much. I look at their film and I see, if I see a lot of that, I, I put it or what I know about the player. So for pass blocking and run blocking, I try to, I probably keep it around where it's normally at, around these numbers here, generic to uh, bronze. Secure ball, I look at their fumbles, right? Let's take a look at how many times this guy fumbles. So if we go to, let's see. This This pro football reference is not always my favorite but I do go to it and if you look at fumbles here it's only got one two three four but it's showing three one two three four whoops one two three four so three That's weird. Let me see what it shows over here. 
If it shows fumbles. So you don't see so you don't get fumbles on here unless I'm missing it. I don't see any fumbles. So but he's he hasn't seen the fumble that much. I mean I'm going a little bit crazier than I normally do, but his fumble rating is fine for me. So I give him an 80. You know? He's just, he's not the kind of I might even give him an 82. Something kind of guy that fumbles, right? So you, you leave it high. And he takes some big hits. I might even give him an 84. He takes some pretty big hits and he doesn't fumble. Um, you know, kick style, who cares? Finesse style, which is his running. Like I said, you got to watch. You got to watch the highlights of these guys. You got to see how they run. He's down here, right here. You got to look at him. He's a pretty straight. He's like a power runner, but I want to see him run in the open. He's more of your power type of style runner, so I'm going to I'm going to change it to power. Or maybe like balanced, you know? Depends on how they on how they move. Guy's got great hands. Love those hands. And then consistency, you know, he seems to be pretty consistent. Um right now it's showing 65. I kind of like his consistency. So maybe I'll make him like a 70 and then, and that's it. That, that's the, that's the attribute part. All right. And then now going over to the abilities, I've seen him make some acrobatic catches, you know, these actually, these look pretty good for him, but it might be just too much because he's not, I don't see him as like a high, high player. Overall, I'm showing him as a 76. This is the overall that I create. It's not the perfect formula, but. You know, I've seen some pretty good catches in the sidelines. Let's see. Let's see what else we can see on these highlights here. There's Tyrod rolling out. He definitely has good hands, good catching. This is fun. I, I see this is why it's fun to create a roster because you learn about your team. You learn about other teams, and if you love football, then this is the way. This is the way you're going to want to do it. Okay, so I'm going to give this guy because I don't just give abilities to the to the um, to the star players. I give them to anybody who deserves them, right? So this guy, to me, he seems like he's he's got really soft hands, right? So that's gonna that's gonna bump up if you highlight over it when it's unchecked. It's gonna bump up and tell you what kind of hands they got. You know, and I think also think he's a deep threat, but I also might call him tough in the middle. You know, um, just trying to see what else he has. And we know he's fast, and that's not going to change. When you put fast on somebody like deep threat or something, or like uh, speed burner, they're just going to bump up their their speed. And he's already what a ninety eight speed, ninety seven. I gave him so. I wouldn't consider him clutch. I thought there was one for like sideline catches. I don't know why I'm thinking of that. Maybe I'll give him some acrobatic catches because eh, no, I'm not going to give him that. I would give him maybe like tough in the middle. Yeah. he's got He got hit a lot and I'll give it to him. So that's it. And then from here, this is just throwing play action. I don't care about that. And that's it. So Deontay Thompson is done. That's the way I do it. So for you guys who want to know, now if I go back before I end the video, if I go back, now I got to redo the, the depth chart, right? So I'm going to do that real quick. I want to look at the the Washington Post. And I'm going to look at their, their depth chart here. Because now I think the receivers are pretty much done. So let's take a look. So we have, we have Zay. We have... We have, um, he's actually our second receiver. So I'm going to put him over here. Actually, I got to do this. I got to bring him up. Zay Jones up. And I'm going to bring him down. I'm going to bring Thompson there. And then, so it goes Isaiah McKenzie on the left, which we don't have McKenzie. I'm going to have to add him in here because, you know, Holmes is gone. So McKenzie is going to go here, and then 
So Holmes is going to go here. Zay Jones is going to go down here. I like to keep them the opposite, like that. And then we have Ray Ray McLeod, which I like Foster, but that's where Ray Ray goes. And then Mackenzie's going to go there. So let's put, and then Foster should be in the middle and there. So my depth chart is set, right? You got Zay Jones, you got Deontay Thompson, you got, this is going to be McKenzie, right? If I change it real quick, let me just put McKenzie in there, even though I know I'm not, I'm not done. Isaiah. And then McKenzie. Right. And. Let me just do this real quick while I'm here. Just put his number. And he's 173.58. He's a small dude, but he's really, really fast. Yeah, I love the guy. He's one of those little fast guys. And I love this guy. I can't wait to play all pro football, man. I can't wait. So excited. But this roster process takes a long time. That's why I want to make this video because I want to see if there's a way that we can all kind of share you know, share our rosters. Another website that I didn't tell you about real quick, I, I do look at Madden's ratings sometimes just to get an idea of what they do. But you guys know how I feel about Madden. So that's like a last resort type of thing that I do. So now, now we're set. So if we go back to the starters, we, we see Zay Jones. And then we're going to see Deontay Thompson, which his face will get fixed. But you can see what I gave him. And that's it. That's how I create a roster. So I know it's another long video. I make long videos. This is not a simple thing. I'm not going to spend a lot of time, you know, cutting these up. This is how I make a roster. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Tell me if you like it, if you don't, if you have other things that you do that might even be better. If there's things that I'm missing, hit me in the comments and let's, let's try to make a roster together on the discord channel. We're talking about it. So get over to discord and have fun with this game. I can't wait to play my franchise. Thanks for all the support and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.